Four, Geary. Geary is non-current loans divided by capital employed times 100. Okay, so your non-current loans divided by capital employed is, is 100. Okay, so we've just done that. Right, you all know what that ratio is. Remember, capital employed is equity, shares, retained earnings, plus non-current non liabilities or non-current loans. Okay, so gearing looks at the capital structure of the firm. So when you set up, where do you get your money from? Do you get your money from, lo uh, from loans or do you get your money from shares? Right, and then whatever the ratio is, it will tell us a story about the firm. So for, for example, the higher, the higher the gearing, the greater the risk for the firm. Because what that means is more of your money has come from loans. With loans, you must pay the money back each month. And if you don't, then the whole business can, in fact, go under. Right. So in this case, we've got 100, pounds, 100 million pounds worth in loans and we've got nothing in equity. OK, so we do 100 million divided by 100 million plus zero times 100 is obviously 100 percent. So if you have a gearing for 100 percent, that must mean that you have 100 percent loans. Now, that must mean, therefore, this places that business at high risk. Let me quantify that, though, however. If you have if you have loads of equity, you do not need to give out any dividends at all. You don't need to pay any money back. OK, your shareholders might not be happy, but that is purely optional. They might not buy your shares in the future, for example. Now, the fact is, if you have really high profits, right, it's best to have high gearing because then you only need to pay back the interest payments. But if you have really high profits and the firm does really well, then you've got to give, pay back high dividends because the person who's taking the risk is the shareholder, so they will want high returns for their risk. 